I'm uh, Liam Williams, 28 years old. I'm Welsh and I'm uh, obviously a boxer of Ingle Jim Sheffield and I'm fighting Demetrius Andrade for the WBO middleweight world title. Please welcome the current British middleweight champion, Liam the Machine Williams. I bring a little bit more to the table than, than most boxers. And I just make things a bit more exciting than most other fighters do. And when I'm in the ring, then the real excitement comes. I've been here in, in Sheffield with Dominic now, maybe two and a half years, give or take. I've had, I've had six fights with Dom. Everyone's ended in a stoppage victory, um, a knockout victory. So, you know, I'm on a very good run of wins at the moment. And um, I don't feel like it's going to end here. I feel like I'm going to continue the run. Seven fights, seven wins, seven stoppages also. It's been a massive step forward in my career because it's taught me a lot of things, um, things I needed to change. Um, I'm focused here, I've got no, um, don't get me wrong, I miss home a little bit from time to time. I miss my family, my missus, my, my little girl. I do fully believe that this is what I needed because I've separated my personal and, and family life from my boxing career and um, and it's, made, it's just made me fully focus. you know, I'm not mixing the two, I'm not trying to blend day-to-day -day life with, with my career and now I'm just I'm tunnel vision, nothing else matters to me um, other than boxing and, and getting that win, nothing else matters. I'm fighting a three-time world champion, two different weights, unbeaten, avoided. Um, in his country, so I'm fighting on pretty much the other side of the world to where I'm from. Um, you're in Britain, so it's going to be a big ask, but this is the type of challenge which which really gets me going and um, really gets my mouth watering, you know. So um, it's exciting for me. It's, it's everything I've ever set out to do since turning professional at the age of 18. It's taken me from there 10 years, you know, I'm 28 now. I've had setbacks, I've had injuries, I've been told to retire. This for me, getting my opportunity is a big, it's a big achievement. You know, in saying that, I'm, I'm not willing to stop you. This is the beginning of, of massive things and ma massive step ups for me. And the new. <laughs> you have just been chasing them big fights, um, your Golovkins. Canelo, Charlo, or he says he's been chasing them, but what the the reality of that is, I'm not 100% sure, but you know, he seems to have been. And I I don't think that he wants to take this fight with me. He didn't want to win it. Um, obviously, he's been forced into it because I've become mandatory challenger for the WBO title. So um, it, it's a fight which he has to take. He needs that for his leverage, and uh, it, it's a risky fight for him, but. You know, every, I believe every fight's a risky fight, so he has to take a chance. You know, he, he's never been stopped before. He's never showed any signs of being stopped. So, in my mind, that's what that's what's going to happen. But I think, I personally believe I couldn't stop him. But if I prepare for the for the worst and you know, kind of expect the best, um, I, I I think I could stop him personally, but. We'll see. He's just going to bring his awkwardness. He's going to try and he's just going to try and fiddle me out of the fight. He's going to try and work himself to a point victory, like like he usually does. I don't really believe he's got that killer instinct. Even when he's he's had people hurt, he's had people down early in the fight, and he's taken them to a point victory. Whereas if I get you hurt, if I get you down, whatever round, you know, it doesn't matter to me. When I get you hurt, I'm going to capitalize on that, and usually. It's not long before I get you out there. I don't think he has the same intensity as me. I wear my heart on my sleeve a bit more, so I, I do show a lot more emotion. Um, I bring the intensity, I can punch harder than him. 
I believe I've got a bigger engine than him. But I'm going to bring it all on the night, and I think I just don't think he's going to have the answers to what I'm going to bring. He would have prepared long and hard for this fight. He's not. He's not silly. You don't become three-time world champion being an idiot. You know. He knows I, I bring a lot of threats. He's a clone. He's. I don't think he's wired upright. You know. I think. He, I think he's got a screw loose. Then I was just just his mannerisms, the the way the way he acts, the way on his interviews and stuff. It's just. He's just. I just. I honestly feel he's a little bit strange. I can't really put my finger on exactly what it is. He's he's an odd fella. You know, it's, it's a risk for both of us. We're both at that at that top level. He's number one, I'm number two. Like obviously he's champion. I'm I'm his number one actually. This his challenger. So you know, if he loses, he loses his title. He loses his status. If I lose, same goes really. But I'm I'm back to the bottom of the pile. There's a lot at stake for both of us. I just think none of us are gonna give up lightly, so I think that's it's gotta be it's gotta make it of a good fight. The outcome is gonna be me winning, whether that's over the distance or inside the distance, doesn't matter to me. As long as I come away with the win and with that belt, I'm bringing that belt back to Britain. I don't have any doubt about it. I'm, you know, I'm super confident, and I just don't think there's any way he's gonna beat me.